Hi, I'm starting to paint the art. Now it's getting to be fun and I'm adding color, so I wanna walk you through this. But before I do, I've gotta to talk to you about something really serious. Getting paint in your eye. Can see? I keep a bottle of this eye wash on hand in the bathroom. Because doggone it, especially when you're looking upwards, darn it if you're gonna get a paint splatter on you. That's why I suggest the safety glasses, but I still, for whatever reason, they just jump over those glasses into my eye. Get some eye wash. So let's get to it. show you what I did all right so I took some of the gray that I originally put on there and to cover up some of my issues that I had that those X marks that I showed you before then I started to add this tint of color here you see it's like a, a sandy color it's real pretty it's just a hint of color and then as you can see in the back I've got just a hint of blue happening because I want to add a little bit of blue in my headliner. So if I pull it off you, to the side, you can kind of get the idea of where I'm going with this. And it's starting to develop as old individual planks on the ceiling, as you can see. I'm not adding a lot of color. But let me show you how I'm applying the color. So I've got very little on my paintbrush, as you can see, very little. A lighter gray color that I'm going with next. And what I want is I'm going to just pick one of these planks and drag it across real gently to change some of the color. Not all of them. You can if you want to. Again, you know, it's it's your painting. You can do whatever you want. But if you're curious about the colors I'm using, I'm using a tan. The tan color. This is sort of a, a wash of teal color mixed with the tan color to tone it down. And what I'm putting on top is gray the original gray mixed with a little white to highlight it. Not much more. So let me show you quickly how this is gonna look.
Okay, I just added a little bit of uh, this teal color blue on here. Just a, a, a little. And um, I personally am going to tone it down a little bit with uh, this warm caramel. And if you're curious about these colors, they're just little sample colors I picked up at Walmart. It's like, I don't know, eight to choose from or something like that. But I felt like they were good enough already mixed up and they were small, $3 each. So I just picked up like four of them. You know. Anyway, I'm just going to add a little because, like I said, I like the, uh, I don't need that blue as uh, bright. I don't. You might want to, but it's, you know, it's my van. So I'm um, do the color I want. <laughs> anyway, so I'm going to mix up the color. As you can see, I'm, it's, it's still, it'll come out super blue up there, even though it's kind of a greenish color, but it'll read as blue. It's odd how that happens, you know, gray reads as blue, green reads as blue, it just depends, you know, on uh, what it's next to. That's why color swatches are so important. So, okay, I'm going to add some water to make this really loose, and uh, please excuse the noise. I am outside, and it looks like uh, some of the debris from the hurricane is getting picked up today. Yay. I've got it really loose. You see that? It's real watery, very loose. I'm going to get started. Now that I'm happy with the base color, my next step is to define the planks a little bit more. If you notice, you can see I took some watered down gray and I barely drug it in some spots along the line to give it that depth making it look more realistic and so kind of a depth where it's turning inwards and you don't have to do the whole entire line like that but it creates some really neat effects and I will take a close-up with it in a little while so you can get the idea of how this looks but for now I'm just gonna go back over the lines and define it a little bit better. And you don't have to touch every bit of the line because sometimes it's good to go in and out, in and out, gives it the more realistic effect. So let me show you. Like um, by adding a little bit of black in here it defines it more and I also felt like doing it by hand gave me the more rugged and perfected look of the planks and as you notice I'm not filling in the whole thing but the corners I kind of like to do because that gives it a little bit more definition So I think that's it for today. As you can see, I'm already starting the design process of what's happening up there and I will add more. What am I using? Well, tune in for the next video to find out how I'm doing it. Come back. We're just getting started. <laughs>